Caffeine is naturally found in various plants such as coffee beans, tea leaves, cola nuts used to flavor soft drink colors, and cacao pods used to make chocolate products. Man-made caffeine is sometimes added to food, soft drinks and medicines. 90% of people in the world use caffeine in one form or another. In the US, 80% of adults consume caffeine every day. The average adult has an intake of 200 mg per day. In Europe, adults consume on average 200 mg daily, ranging from 100 to 400 mg, mainly from coffee and tea, but also from soft drinks including energy drinks. However, the dose depends greatly on culture cultural habits. Northern European countries are known for their heavy coffee drinking. The average caffeine content of ground roasted coffee is around 85 mg per 150 ml one cup. Whether caffeine is consumed in food or as a medicine, it changes the way your brain and body work and changes how you behave and feel. Caffeine is a central nervous system stimulant. Your central nervous system includes your brain, spinal cord and the other nerves in your body. Caffeine's main effect on your body is to make you feel more awake and alert for a while, but it can also cause problems. It can make you jittery and shaky, make it hard to fall asleep, stay asleep or get a good night's sleep, make your heart beat faster, raise your blood pressure cause headaches, nervousness and or dizziness, make you dehydrated, dried out, especially after a workout, make you dependent on it so you need to take more of it. You must be aware that caffeine doesn't make a drunk person sober or fit to drive, it does not get rid of the effects of alcohol. After drinking caffeine, it usually reaches its peak level in your blood within one hour and stays there for four to six hours. Caffeine increases the release of acid in your stomach, sometimes leading to an upset stomach or heartburn. Caffeine is a diuretic, meaning it makes your body lose more water, so drinks that contain caffeine aren't good for quenching your thirst. Whether you drink sodas or coffee with caffeine or use medicines with caffeine, Take care to drink extra water when you are working out or in the heat so your body doesn't get dehydrated, dried out. When people use caffeine every day, their bodies get used to it and they don't get the good effects of feeling more awake and able to concentrate unless they use more of it. If a person gets withdrawal symptoms when they suddenly stop using caffeine, then the person has a physical dependence on caffeine. Withdrawal symptoms can include severe headaches, muscle aches, temporary feelings of depression, and irritability. When people experience these symptoms, they often just take more caffeine to make them go away. This cycle is hard to break. Experts agree that four to seven cups of coffee or more each day is too much. Studies suggest that moderate amounts of caffeine are not harmful. Be informed. Learn how much caffeine is in your foods and drinks. Check the caffeine content table to see how much caffeine you take in each day. If you are taking in too much caffeine, you may want to cut back. This isn't easy. Reduce your caffeine slowly to make withdrawal symptoms like bad headaches and feeling tired and depressed as mild as possible. Most studies related to caffeine and health are in fact based on coffee. This makes it often very difficult to distinguish effects of caffeine alone from effects of the beverage as a whole. Moderate daily intake of caffeine usually does not pose a health concern, provided that other lifestyle habits, diet, alcohol consumption, smoking and exercise are healthy. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe for more videos.